Welcome back to Bags on the Go. And for this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove old purple window tint. So you say you get a new car, right? And you need to get the old purple tint off your car. What will you do? I'll give you a rundown on how to do it. I'll also give you some tools, some tricks, and hopefully you can remove it yourself without damaging your windows or even taking it into a tin shop and having it done. So let's um, take it in the shop here and try to get this old purple tin off. But for the rear deck, we may have to pull out that rear deck because it do goes down behind the carpet area. The top of the rear deck touches the window. It goes down so we may have to remove it but let's see how this goes I'm about to go ahead and pull it in and I'll show you what we're going to do I hope I do not have to remove the rear deck but I don't want glue to be stuck in the behind the rear tail light I don't want glue to be stuck behind there so I may have to take it all the way out, pull the seat out, pull the rear deck out. Because as you can see here, this much area right here, the back lid actually touches the back window. As you can see, it's flush up against the back window. So might have to pull the seat out pull the rear deck out as you can see you can see this is tucked down in there this is tucked down in there so you want to make sure you don't get no tent stuck behind here because if tent is stuck behind here it's hard to get it off the window and and the reason I say that is because when you go to peel off this old purple tent it don't come off in one sheet it'll come off in pieces so if it starts to come off in pieces, you want to make sure you got everything out the way so you can get the glue off of the window and the tint off of the window. And it's best to also remove all of that just so you don't get the adhesive, the old glue stuck on the nice fabric. Because this car is in nice shape. I would hate to get all the chemical and glue stuck all in the carpet of the back window because this thing is this thing is sharp I like this car a lot the doors you don't have to worry about much you just I'll show you a technique how to remove them but for that rear deck we want to make sure it's a clean removal so let's extract some window tint wish me luck you guys are coming with me alright so here's a breakdown for the supplies that you will need to remove them. You need you a spray bottle, soap and water. You need you a squeegee. You need you a razor blade and a razor blade holder. It makes it to get the get the glue off much easier so you ain't gotta hold this in your hand. You need a heat gun because you can heat the window tent off of the window with it. And you need a nice stack of microfiber towels to soak up the water. Here's a nice cleaning pad. And X-Acto knife. You need one of these, get into the hard reach areas. And then I use this mean green to spray that on the glue. It helps eat up the glue and makes it soft to get off the window.
most importantly, if you got one of these, or if you can get your hand on one of these, you can take some tin off in a matter of minutes. Turn this on, put this up on the tent, and that tent will come right off the windows. But I'll show you another trick. Show you another trick too. If you got a heat gun, I'll show you how to use that heat gun to take the tent off too. Just gotta keep it hot, gotta use some water. So let me go ahead and hook this up, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do. All right, so what I like to do, is get my heat gun, wet the window tent. Look at that window tent. See the difference that get caught up in the seal versus what is just exposed? So that's why you wanna get this old purple tent off. There is a difference. When you roll your window down, you see it. So what I like to do is heat the window up and the tent up. Not too much to make the glue get all nice and warm and it be stuck all over the windows, but you kinda just wanna heat this film up because it'll peel right off the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. All right, so I caught an edge on the window tent. I just cut it right here with my blade, just halfway, cut it, peel one side down, then peel the other side down. I like to do that first just so I can see what I'm working with. What kind of window tent am I working with? And this window tent here has been on this car for a long time, so all the adhesive usually sticks on the window. You gotta clean it off. How are you gonna clean it off? You wanna get it exposed, and then you wanna wet it. Now, you want this water to sit, and make sure you put a towel, put a towel down, because water's gonna be running. You wanna watch your controls. So, what you wanna do, you wanna wet the, the glue. You see how the glue is starting to spot up? You can see it. You wanna keep the glue wet. Keep the glue wet, so you can see it now. So you wanna keep it wet. Let it sit on there for a minute. What it's gonna do is, the water is gonna soak up, soak up in the glue, and it's gonna make it nice and slimy. Because right now, it's sticky. You wanna be able to just take your fresh blade and run right through it. And the reason I put my film down halfway like this, so when I'm done, I can go right up to it, and it sticks to the tent. So it keeps everything nice and clean. The last thing you want is all of this adhesive stuck in your carpet or in your door jam. I'll show you ways that you should be watching out for, but for the most part, just try to stay clean with it. It's a simple process, but with no guidance, you, you wouldn't know exactly what to do. Make sure you clean your blade as well. When it starts to get glucked up like that, just go ahead and get it, get it off your tool. I'm working with one hand right now, so I was flinging it off. But usually I'll take it and wipe my finger across it, pull the glue off. But you see how it's coming off now? So you want to keep the glue wet. Keep the glue wet, it's going to be easier to get the glue off. Yep, so. I'm gonna do this window and then the other windows. I may just go ahead and set the camera down and then you know, you'll just be able to watch me from afar knock it out. But for this first window, let's go all the way through the steps with me. So, all right, so what I do now, got it all off. I'm gonna roll the window up halfway now. And all of this right here, this adhesive, you could just go ahead and Pull that off and look at that. So that's the reason why you want to pull out that rear deck so you don't get this to stick on your fabric back there because uh, it could be a lot. So now, same thing. Go ahead and pull this down. There you go. And that's so it protects your door panel. Because you don't want this glue to be everywhere. So, go ahead and wet it up. 
let it sit for a minute. Once it gets soft, take that blade right through it and clean it off. Clean it off the window. Oh man, that's looking better already. You can see right up in there. Now for the windshield, I should be able to take my um, take my heat gun and heat it off, but it's so old that it still just may leave a lot of glue and residue, so I may just have to uh, go ahead and clean the window off as well with the glue because I thought it would be easy, but sometimes you got to try. Sometimes this film, it don't leave a, a residue behind, and sometimes it do, so you just got to go through it. You never know. Don't be afraid to peel it off and see what you're working with. Keep it wet. You gotta keep it wet and you gotta get you a nice cart of razor blades. Go and get that count of a hundred in a box. Because trust me, you may go through 20 blades cleaning these side windows. That's it. Make sure you got nice even lines so you don't leave no glue on the window. So, I'll show you how to take your blade and get all the glue from the inside and the glue from inside of here. I'll show you how to get that in a little. Tent. That's the tent right there. It'll be going in the trash. Now what you wanna do is make sure you get this glue right here out of here because if you had to retent this window you don't want none of this to get into your film in our case we're not retenting the window but we still want to make sure you get that glue up out of here so make sure you clean now what you want to do is you want to take the blade I was telling you about and we want to put it up in here and you want to just go straight down. Yep. And straight down. That's going to clean all the glue. And the bottom, same way. All the way across. See how it's pulling that glue up out of there? And don't worry, you may get some stuck in the seal like this. I'll show you how to get that out of there. Just roll it down just a little bit so we can get to the top of the window. Like right here. So you don't want to miss a spot at all. Cleaning the window, getting the glue off is important. Because if you go to retent this window, that glue will pop up. And you'll be doing redoing that window over and over until you clean it. Alright, so roll it all the way down now. And let's take our towel and let's run it right in the inside of the seal. You see it just like that and go back and forth. See, I got my finger in the inside between where the window and the other seal meets, the outside of the window, right in between. Run back and forth. Run back and forth and get, get that glue. See that glue right there? Get that glue up out of there. Get that glue out of here too. Wipe all that down. Because now we got clear, we got clear windows. So now we're going to see everything that's in these cracks. So that's the last thing you want. Be looking all bad. I'll show you. You don't want this to be that glue right there. You don't want that glue to be in your seals when you roll them down. It's just It's all about being clean. Now go ahead and get that out. See that little glue that's in there? I'm gonna keep getting that out. If you got an air hose, two of air hose will work. Put some air in there and blast it down. Clean them seals out. And that's it. Now, when you roll it up. I thought these were auto. Okay. Well. 
just like that. Now, go ahead. Let's get us a dry towel. Got a razor blade outside of the window too. I see all these little black little spots on it. I don't know what that is. Wherever it was sitting. It was getting something on the cart, whatever it was sitting at. So you could take your squeegee and squeegee down the windows as well. If you're gonna be tinting it over or just removing it, you could take the squeegee and squeegee the window afterwards or just take a nice clean towel dry towel roll it down make sure the edge is good too yeah so you could do it this way or you could squeegee it clean and blade the outside too just gotta keep the window wet so it don't scratch All right, so let's close this window and see how it looks. So much better. Woo, so much better. Look at that. See that nice dash? So I'm about to go ahead and start just going through it, tearing the tent off. I'm going to turn it on fast mode so you can just sit back and watch me. All right, I'm about to get to work. All right, so check this out. We got a problem here. This window do not roll down. And what's so funny about this situation is my 94 do the same thing. That window don't roll down. And I was just thinking maybe my car, just because it's been sitting for so long, you know, things go bad. So I was gonna have to figure out if the window actuator needs to be replaced or what. So here I am about to remove the tent on this window. And the window don't roll down. I'm like, no way, it's just like my car. So, <laughs> darn 94s, man. So, I'm gonna show you how to remove this window without rolling the window down. You can, but when you get it fixed, you may need to get the glue from the inside of the window out of there. So, hey, I just have to really pull y'all in on this right here so y'all can see why you ain't roll the window down when you did that one. Don't roll down. So, Check this out. All right, so there you go for the, the driver's side. There's 10 on the ground, but not on the windows. I look so much better than having tent on the windows. So with this window not rolling down, when you peel off the tent, you gotta make sure you peel this tent off in the piece all the way around, just so it peels off in the inside of here. Cause you don't wanna have any pieces stuck in there. You wanna make sure you try to tear the tent off. As you see in the video, when I did it, I made sure I went all the way around and made sure I got all the window tent out of the crease and then use my knife to clean out the glue in the channels. I know it don't roll down, but you still gotta try to do the same task you would do if it did. So for this back window, since I know this film is gonna give me a hard time, I know it's gonna give me a hard time with getting off this back window. Uh, it may even come off in pieces, so I'm not gonna try to remove this window tent until I get this back lid out because I do not want to razor blade this window at all. I don't want to put a razor blade on these lines. You don't want to razor blade away the defrost lines. That's a no-no. So, gotta pull the deck lid out and make sure when I pull the tent off, pull the tent all the way off and then clean the glue off the window. That's all you can do. So let me go ahead and tackle this side.
All right, so we got all the tin off besides the rear window. Once, once we'll get here and pull out the rear deck, then we can start taking off this window. But how she look? Looks so much better, don't she? You can see in there, look like a brand new car. Like a brand new car. Oh, it's gonna shine outside. I can't wait to pull it outside. She gonna shine. And that's how she's supposed to look. Take that old purple tent off. Look, I ain't against tent. Tent is beneficial, okay? It helps so the interior don't fade. It keeps you cool. I understand that. But sometimes when you get them like this, you gotta pull that right off. There ain't no way we're going to be loving that purple tent. No, no, no. <sighs> Let's look up under this hood. Mm, 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 mm. I'm talking about so clean. You can drop your sandwich on this thing and pick it up and eat it. This thing is clean. How I know? Because I'm working on one right now. And it don't look nothing like this at all uh, mine's got rust all right there everything up under here is black and how it should be even look at the valve covers valve covers ain't even got no dust and no oil all over them this car right here this is a one and a half clean i love looking at it i need my 94 to look this good but i'm about to put a lot of hard work and just to get mines to be somewhere near this man this is this is beautiful i'm gonna I'm 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 delete this i gotta find new wheel wells if i don't find new ones then i gotta repair them or put them back in oh let's look at that battery tray that battery tray down there is still good i gotta find me a battery tray i put the tender on it because i noticed the power was getting low where are we at now oh 12.1 She'll fire up now. I just couldn't believe it. I popped that hood and said, what? This thing is cleaner than a border half. Look at these bars. Look at this. The firewall ain't got a spick of rust on it. Somebody was in here, I'm telling you, putting wax, cleaning it up, getting all the dust off of it. That's good, man. It's good to see this car. It's good, because I needed to see something this clean, this pristine. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, we got that tent off. Now we just got to get that back window off. It's going to look a lot better. See right through the car now. Well, pull the bottom seat out. See if we got some money in here. <laughs> yes, we do. What year could this be? Two thousand eleven. Pencil? How about you, some gum. Got some fuzzies? No, that's not no gum. We should be worried about this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watched a lot of uh, cop videos back in the day. No, there's something rolled up in there. You're gonna be you're gonna be partying all night. All right, so yeah, Will snatching this thing apart. Not too many things Will can handle. Yeah, pretty much. It's just the older they get, the more brittle they get. Mm -hmm. That's the only problem. Why well, I ain't even gonna try and take my dash out of my truck. Okay. This one right here, boy. If I show you up under the hood on this car, you won't even believe it. This one? This thing right here, so it's got an LT1 in it. Yeah. I'm talking about you gotta look at it, how clean it is. Oh okay. man. This sucker right here takes the cake. Well, I mean. Somebody, this was a garage kept car. Yeah. 
for you sure. Mm-hmm. Long time. Yep. He sure did. I found another one today too. Ninety-six. I was never a fan of this body style. Mm-hmm. Before this and after this, yes, but I don't like the long, long powder like this. One. Anything after this is trash. <laughs> okay, where is? Oh, just take one of those batteries. The other one at home. Using it to take apart that car. What you got there, my Ooh. boy? This, I put a lot of miles on this car. Yeah, you did. You can't even read nothing that's on that thing. A lot of miles. A lot of engines. She ain't strong enough to yank her out. Nah. What, what was you what was you calling this? The, the trunk. What was you calling the behind? That's just interior trim panels. Where you want off is just the interior trim panels. Okay, the deck lid is a trunk. Deck lid is a trunk. Oh, okay. That's the actual name for a trunk. Hmm. The deck lid. I thought that was. You're like, yeah, I'll come and take the trunk off. Yeah, that's what I thought you wanted. I'm like, okay, I don't understand why you want me to take it off. It's yeah. It to be like three or four bolts. I've been saying that all in my yeah. video already. About to pop like, out the deck lid. They're probably like, man, you about to take the trunk off to take the tent off? Yeah, that's why I was like, so, what do you want the tent off for? Ex excuse me, we are not taking off the trunk to take the tent off. I know you was confused because I was all in the back of the car talking about taking off this, but instead I was saying the, the deck lid. Will said the deck lid is the, the trunk, so excuse me. I figured it was your car and you wanted your deck lid off. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's only four bolts for sure. Yeah. So, what you got? Why you gotta take this off? Uh, to be able to get that top part out, you gotta take the seat belts and the back of the seat. Cause the, the screws that hold this in, uh -huh. the gloss part, uh -huh. it'll be behind right here. Uh oh, uh oh. So you gotta pop the bolts off here, uh -huh. which hold the seat belt and the back of the seat on. Oh, okay. And the bottom just kinda like, you push it in and then clip it down here and uh -oh. it like that. Oh, okay. Those are hog hog pins for the seats. He said, I want the 10 off. I said, I don't blame you. My truck's the same way. Got the purple glow. Yeah, and it's gotta go. 
Mm-hmm. We're not quite there yet. If they got the purple glow, they gotta go. <laughs> There we go. That thing moves freely now. So yeah, go ahead and just press up. Just like there you that. go. Listen forward. Yeah. It, Man, look how clean that, that looks. So you can do the tent, but. Oh, okay. Well, tomorrow. Tomorrow when I get in here. Alright, now watch. Holds the plastic sign. And that's the held on to. Let's see if we can. You want to pop the trunk and see if it's connected? No, this won't be held down before the trunk. No, you can look up under. And see what's holding some clips on or something. Bolts or screws. Something similar. There you go. You ain't see nothing up under there? Mm. Oh, I see it. What is it? I need a clip popper. Oh, Here's okay. A B. You want a B? <laughs> Who was this guy? The clips, the old school metal ones. I got a, a, I got that one and I got a half of one left. You got a half of one left? Uh, half the metal one is better than no one. Maybe in here. It's a, it's a, really, they got one tooth left. I really don't want to take a screwdriver to it. Hey, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's your main shaft. I guess I'll probably threw it away. I guess we'll try her with the, uh, the plastic one then. Nope, just wrenches. Yeah. We'll give it a go with plastic. That one ain't got too much life in it. For the sake of me, I'm gonna pull this out so I got a little bit of Oh yeah, go ahead. Make yourself at home. Oh uh, Huh? Oh yeah, right there. Huh? Yeah. He said he don't like this carpet. He's about to get some new carpet. I said, let me have this carpet then. This is gray carpet and... This carpet is in good shape. Yeah, it's in extremely good shape. I'll put, uh, I'll put a steam clean on it and it'll be looking like brand new. Let's take it to the car wash, car wash it down. Fuck no, that's too much water. <laughs> I have my guy with the steamer come. I guess you can do it that way, but... Oh, there we go. So all the way back in the back. Okay. What are we looking at for? Uh, Not in each corner, but yeah. we got two in the middle in the corner and then somewhat in the corner in the back. The trick is, get it out, I'm breaking nothing. Go. Let me see that panel there. Because oh. plastic, when it gets all... Well, you ain't got to take it all the way out. Oh, there you go. It's easier. Yeah, so those clips is what Will was talking about. Trying to pull them out. Oh, thank God. Oh, this one has to That one's just, yeah. Set that down there. I gotta take the little too. Huh? The side panels? There you go. I like this car, man. This car just come right on apart. <laughs> Make sure that rubber is in there. I'll push that in there. It's in good shape. Somebody man. already broke it and they just duct taped it on. What? <laughs> the little piece that holds it on. Oh, right there? Yeah. 
Yeah, Somebody, I do see they it. They taped it on. They taped it. This one they glued on with hot glue. Um, same with that one. When they did the window tent, <laughs> when they did the window tent, they had to pull all of this apart. Because as you see, the tent goes behind that back piece. Yeah. There's no way they could have done that without taking this out. So they took this all the way out before. But then they broke those clips, and guess what? Window tenders are creative. <laughs> he said, well, I got a roll of duct tape and some hot glue. Okay. That's it. Right now. Yeah, you'll never know. Tent look no, good. No, you would never know until you go and take it apart. I like that. Then you'd be like, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, you got to take those out. So they're painted the neck, and that's why people charge what they charge to do them. And then that little piece, you got to take that apart from the inside of the trunk. What? The light. The light? Yeah, I got to get behind there. Let me. That goes from the inside of the trunk. That one right here. On their uh, roof. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, this one right oh, here. It's actually the, the extra key or not? Oh, it is. Mhm. Mm it's still the extra key. Oh yeah. You even got it. I see some trailer wires in there. Huh? What's this? What's this one down here? Oh, this is the light port right here. Oh yeah, and he needs two, to re. The two bolts are right there. One's right there. Yeah. And one's right there. You can see them. Yeah, you can see them from the inside. Like if you look. No, right I'm here. talking about from what about from the bottom? You can't oh, see them. No, they're not. They don't come off from the bottom. They come from, from the, the top, top. But I gotta get the light off from the bottom. Okay, that's cool because he needs to re. Um, he not. Yeah, he needs to put a new one. He said it don't work. So. I'll tell him to do that. Just go from the trunk. I took a lot of my tools home, so I don't know if I got the good ones. Yeah, I'll be all right. It'll be fine. Yeah, I took I took the uh, right there. the good ones that you gave me. Those wrenches with the turning on. Oh, I'm gonna need a deep socket. Yeah, I'll be all right. Nope. So we're almost there. So you got to go through all this to tin them correctly and take the tin off. That's why back in the day, I'm so happy I didn't come up with tin cars back in the day because it was so much more you had to do to cars just to get them tinted. So much you had to do. We'll say <laughs> that's why you buy a truck. <laughs> Well, I could throw this thing back together if yeah. it ain't too much. Nope. I'll show you what you gotta look for and come on, get out of there. There we go. There you go. Perfect. Well, get me working in the morning. I'll go ahead and yeah, uh get this tent off. To put the, this back on, mm -hmm. You just gotta throw these out of the way. And you seen how I took this out of the mm -hmm. box in there. Mm -hmm. The only thing that holds this this carpet down is are these two covers right here oh gotcha and it just it just sits there there's no actual screws like nope. the new ones have no and it's just these little covers that actually that's it. it down and they just pop oh, okay well thank you will for coming you, down you seen what i, I used i used like three sockets yeah that was uh you could just set those right so i ain't gotta be fishing for them right, yeah There you go. And then we're gonna start removing this tent. Get this tent off when I come in in the morning. Oh, okay. So, yep, yeah, got the seats out. And tomorrow, come here and pull this tent out. Get rid of it. She don't need that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The old hook right there. Yeah, so put hole. them down on there yep. and push down. Yep. Once you get it in spot, then you just pull it down. Pull it down. And then the two bolts go, the seat belt right. part goes on top of that. That little. And then the bolt runs through it. Yeah, right there. And then this one, you slide it under, make sure you feed the seat belts and yep. wrap up through the hole. Yeah. And then uh, the way it locks is on here. 
what you'll do is you'll push it back a little bit uh -huh. and you'll feel it drop down uh -huh. and then you let it fall, come forward and then it'll lock in place. Okay. Any questions or anything, I'll call you. I'll yeah. But I think I got it though. It's, that, it's was, not, that was pretty simple. Yeah. It's yeah. not complicated. Yeah. It's just old. It's yeah. Old. Yeah. I'm surprised those cover pieces they cracked when I was trying to pull them out. Mm -hmm. Like the, the other pieces mm -hmm. that they had already broken. Yeah. They probably pulled too hard on it. Yeah. Snapped it. Yeah. That's why I don't have a, a back piece in my truck no more with the seats are. Uh huh. <laughs> When I put the speakers in, I was pulling out every single one of those, bro. Man. I was like, well, that ain't going back on. No, nah, those, those, <laughs> that ain't back on. those metal fasteners be so be uh, embedded in there. Yeah, I pulled all the little metal clips out and I was like, okay, mm -hmm. it looks just fine black. Yeah. Plus the seat sits on it, so you never know. Yeah. Well, we got a full house tonight and tomorrow I'll get up in here and make her beautiful again. Make her see through again. Yeah, I had, to, I had to squeeze shot, them. The Monty, the Caprice, and the Plymouth. Hopefully I can get rid of that Plymouth soon. That's going to be a little harder to sell. Hopefully not, hopefully not sell. Hopefully trade again. Oh, okay. I traded for it. I like to trade again. What did you trade for that thing? Uh, that F-150, that lower one I had. That burgundy. Oh, yeah, the, the burgundy one. one. Yeah, yeah. That's the first one you had. Uh-huh. So I'm in, the, I'm in the works of talking with someone. Hopefully they give me the green light. They want to trade, and I'll show you my, my new one, 96. Oh, they're going to trade for a 96? Yeah, with the floor shifter. The floor shifter? This one got a column. 90, oh. This is a 94. Okay. 96 is 90. Yeah, 96 is with the floor oh, shifter. center console to it? Mm. Well, same one. It's just got the shifter down in the middle. It looks identical, but it's just got the shifter. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, you gotta see up under here. Woo! Man, you gotta see up under here. This thing is something else. And uh, on this side. Yeah. Yeah, they took care of it. Clean. There ain't no rust. I mean, this thing was garage cap. Yes. Look at the valve covers. There ain't a grease stain on them. Shit, even the old pollution pipes are still there. Yeah. And the rivet on this Minus the motor. She's she she's been running. Yeah, I had her because I killed the battery. They don't, the lights don't go off when you got the power on. Should have had it running, but. Yeah, somebody's replaced a lot of this. Replaced? Yeah, like all this. Uh huh. All your exhaust stuff. They've replaced a lot of this. Yeah. Somebody's put some money into it. Kept it nice. Think it's replaced? Yeah. What tells you it's been replaced? Uh, the style of the pipe. Uh oh. I mean, there'll be some surface rust on it. Right, it'll be looking like at least this one, how this one looks. Yeah. Burnt. Shit, it's even got the original, the original uh, wiper motor on it. There's your production dates right there on it. 05, 03, 94. Wow. <laughs> they use the original still radiator. It could be. It would probably have a place to put it. The vents are still. They upgraded the AC though, I can tell you that. Oh, okay. That's probably why it works. <laughs> it's probably why it works. You yeah. tell me. He drove, he drove it back from uh, Kentucky. Oh, that's why. It's never seen salt in this life. It's yeah. sat down top of it. Yep. That's a nice one. That's what the other one is. The 96 is in Kentucky as well. I'm in the works with them. Trying to see what I'm going to do. I see somebody run a couple of wires. What is it? Hey, what's he going to? Where are you going to? <laughs> somebody couldn't get power somewhere. And over here. Oh, I see. They spliced it in right there. Where? Right there for the coil. Oh. They probably didn't have power. So somebody just spared a power wire for the coil. Either power or ground, one of the two. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what this little guy is right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been in the works of my research and I've been figuring it out. Yeah, somebody like, ran the power wire because they hid it behind 
They did a good job of hiding it, but I can see it. It's right here. Yeah. You can see where it pops through the firewall. Yeah. Here, and yeah. It comes up through right here. They did a good job of hiding it, though. Yeah, I do. Real see good it. job of hiding it. <laughs> so okay. you look at hey, where's that green, the green wire, wire going? From? Yeah. Oh, the tack. They got a tack oh, on the. They got a tack around the uh, steer wheel, and I think I like that. When you hit it, go. Oh, yeah. Rawr. Yeah, that's why they got the green wire. Then the green oh, okay. wire. Okay. I like that, that too. Gives you your, uh, it feeds you your pulse for your uh, uh, your RPMs. Mm -hmm. Tells you how many times the, the engine is spinning over. Oh, okay. Why do they have a tachometer? Right I don't know. Does it come back with one? No. Uh, digital? Not that digital. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, the ninety-five, ninety-six. The dash is uh, analog. Oh, okay. So then you get it. Huh? Put it underneath or something at least. Or right here. Yeah. That's well, what I would have liked. That, then you change the fan. <laughs> That's what I would have liked to see. Put the other gauges on it too. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll be back tomorrow. Get this tin off, and you'll see it in this uh fishbowl steak right now i got purple tin purple tin all right, all right see you well i'll let you know how it goes i'll put it back together yeah. right back at it let's go ahead and get this back window tin off When it started blowing smoke. Pretty much just let it warm the tent up you don't want it to burn the tent because all it's going to make it do is create thick glue and we don't care about cleaning the glue off the window we just want to get the tent off the window because the hardest part is getting this tent off in one piece if it come off in some pieces fine but if it come off in many many pieces oh we're gonna have a problem We just want to pretty much just warm the tin off so it comes off the glue. Go ahead and let that sit for a minute. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't stand it when they do these windows in pieces. And what I mean by that, they pick a defrost line. They pick a defrost line and make the edge and put another piece. That's how they used to do it back in the day. why people ask how many pieces do you do my back window in <laughs> they'd be like bro it ain't the 90s no more you gotta see this so what they do is they pick a defrost line and that's the that's the second piece see watch this when I go to pull this off see how it's coming off right at that line 
So this is the top piece and that's the bottom piece. And you would, you would never know from looking at the outside. It looks so clean. They can't stand it when they do that. It's getting hot in here. Let's take off all this purple tint. So what you gotta do is, don't pick the line, but pick on the outside. It's always an area that's behind. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let me get myself situated. Let me fix my position. Hey, grab this. Go ahead, turn it off. Put it back. That wasn't too bad at all. Well, they did this back window in two pieces. Got a little glue here and a little glue there, and that's it. As you can see, that's a process how to take the back window off. Just make sure you got a steamer. Pull that tin off. If not, you're gonna be cleaning up a lot of glue. A lot of glue. Now, I can end it here, or if you wanna watch me put it all back together, stay tuned. All right, so right now, I just got the degreaser on the window. Let the degreaser sit on the window help the glue get soft and then I'll just take my scrub pad and clean it off and then I'm gonna put all this stuff back together she looks naked it back here that's a lot of room back here but now I know how to do it so I put it all back in
got some glue over there. It's gonna take a minute. It's pretty thick. Other than that, everything is all the little glue is coming off. I just want it to be nice and clean. This is where the big glue is right here. Just give it a minute, give it a couple runs through. Go through it a couple times and start loosening up. Starting to come off more and more. And then we got a chunk in this corner. I guess I didn't let it steam off the window. It just left the glue on the window, but hey, I'd rather this much glue than the whole entire back window. And the process is over. That's it. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, squeegee it down, wipe it down. It'll be good to go. Huge. Just like that. I was going to squeegee it out, but a little wipe down with a towel. Had to do. Now, all we have to do is repeat the steps backwards. Light out last. Just don't know how we gotta put it back in. That sits right up against the back one though.
I know I've been calling this the back lid, deck lid, whatever. I'm still going to call it that. <laughs> and I took the, uh, the honors of wiping it down. Because sometimes, you know, you get bugs and stuff and hard to reach places down there. It just sits in it. Because you can't, you can't really do nothing when it's locked in place. So I went ahead and wiped it down. His is in very good shape. This thing is like brand new. Mine's I'm going to have to rewrap it. I can't wait to start working on mine. Cause uh, like I say, I like doing this stuff, man. This stuff right here is so interesting to me. I think about working on my car all day, every day, but I gotta do some work here first. I think I can put these in. That one goes to this one. Uh, let me go get the other ones. The guys that tinted the windows, whoever did it, they broke these clips off. They broke these clips, but they glued them on, but they broke this one right here. I don't know how it's gonna fit now that we pulled it off, not knowing how it was gonna fit. like that would have never known so we gotta take these cars apart this little rubber stripping right here had to put that back on fell off and now i know how it works it's pretty cool
five per that five cent that I found. Let me change the position. If I can suggest anything when you go to put these back, just put this back seat in, make sure these seat belts is like up here. Because if it's hanging on the back and the inside when you put the seat in, you can't pull this out because it's gonna be stuck behind the seat. So just put these up here, put the back seat in, and that way you can go ahead and lock this boat in down here. I'll put back together looking nice now I know how to do this and guess what I'll be tearing mines apart I can't wait